The world is filled with all sorts of winds blowing around. There's gain and there's loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. And our mind is like a boat. If we put up the sail, of course we're going to catch all the winds. If we're going to have a world in which there are no winds at all, well, that's it's not going to be a world. What we have to do is take down the sail. In other words, when these things come our way, we don't grab onto them as ours. We see that there are things that have their use. After all, if the world didn't have any winds, the weather wouldn't move. Everything would be very stagnant. But we can't latch on to these things as being really important for us. For us, we have to get our, our boat across the ocean safely. Sometimes the winds help, and if you know how to make use of all kinds of winds, then you can get the boat to go in any direction you want. In other words, you see that when gain comes, it gives you the opportunity to do, do good. So that's just something to hold on to. When loss comes, you learn some important lessons as well. You learn who your true friends are. And of course, the loss outside forces you to look for your inner, inner resources and develop them. If it weren't for aging, illness, and death, the, the Buddha probably wouldn't have gained awakening. It's because as a young man that he saw that this was a big danger in life, having to face aging, illness, death, that he went looking for the Dharma to begin with. So he took that wind and learned how to tack his his boat in a proper way to get good use out of it. Same with status, loss of status. You gain status, you can have some good influence on other people. How do you want that influence to be used? When you lose your status, again, you find out who your friends are. You can think in a similar way about praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. We don't like criticism, but often we learn a lot more from it than we do from praise, if we look at it the right way. So if you learn how to put your sails up in the right way, you don't just go with whatever direction the wind is blowing. But you learn how to put the sails up, take them down, let the winds flow past you when they're too strong. That way you can navigate your boat and get it across the ocean. Fortunately, this is not just a sailboat. It's a boat that's has got a motor in it. And the motor is your desire for true happiness. When the winds are blowing in the wrong direction, you take your sails down, and you just make sure you've got your motor going really strong. This is why we meditate, is to develop that motor. The determination inside that no matter what's happening outside, you're going to, to do good. You're going to do what's skillful for yourself and for the sake of others, too. You're going to try to find a true happiness that doesn't cause anybody any harm. You want to make sure that that motivation is always going. And then when the wind's in the right direction, you put up a few sails, and that helps you along, too. So you have to learn how to navigate the world. But then also you learn how to learn how to develop your own inner resources. Because the world is not going to blow you to nirvana. It's that motor inside that's what gets you there. In the meantime, you learn how to find some peace of mind as part of the path. That's part of the motor. Because it's peace of mind that gives you strength. So make sure that you've got that well in hand. So the winds are blowing outside in all directions. There are tornadoes and hurricanes or whatever. Still inside you've got this quiet spot. Use that as your, your energy, and you find that it's a healthy energy, not like the winds of the world, which can sometimes get very destructive. Your inner energy that comes from a peaceful mind, that, that can take you far.